Building a release strategy. Hi everyone, I'm Eng Dong Chia, Microsoft MVP for AI. What is continuous delivery? Continuous delivery CD is a set of processes, tools, and techniques for the rapid, reliable, and continuous development and deliveries of software. It means that continuous delivery goes beyond the release of software through a pipeline. The pipeline is a crucial component and also the main focus of this course, but continuous delivery is more. To expand this a bit more, look at the principle of continuous delivery. Process for releasing deploying software must be repeatable and reliable. Automate everything. If something is difficult or painful, do it more often. Keep everything in source control. Does mean that mean release? Build quality in. Everybody has responsibility for the release process. Improve continuously. If you want to fulfill as principle. We can see that an automated pipeline does not suffice. In order to deploy more often, we need to reconsider our software architect. Monoliths are hard to deploy. Our testing strategy manual tests do not scale very well. Our organization separated business and IT department do not work smoothly and so forth. Release and deployment. When we talk about release and the deployment, we see that commonly used tools to deal a bit differently with the terminology as we did in previous chapter. To make sure you both understand the concept and technical implementation in many tools, you need to know how tools vendors define the difference between a release and a deployment. A release is a package of container that hold a version set of artifacts specified in a release pipeline in your CI CD process. It includes a snapshot of an all the information required to carry out all the tasks and action in the release pipeline, such as the stages or environment. The task for each one. The value of touch parameters and variables and the release policy such as trigger, approval, and release queuing option. There can be multiple releases from one release pipeline or release process. Deployment is the action of running the task for one state which results in a tested and deployed application and the other additional activity that are specific for the stage. Initial thing, a release start each deployment based on the setting and policy defined in the original, original release pipeline. There can be a multiple deployment of each release for one stage. When a deployment of a release fails for a stage, you can redeploy the same release onto that stage. Issue artifacts. What is an Azure artifact? An artifact is deployed components of your application. This component can be deployed to one or more environment in general. The idea about build a release pipeline and continuous delivery to build once and deploy many times. This means that artifacts will be deployed to multiple environments. To achieve this, it is by that the artifact is a stable package. Deployment stage. The state of a deployment is a logical and independent and entity that represents where you want to deploy a release generated from a release pipeline. Sometimes the state is called an environment, for example, test and production, but it does not necessarily reflect the life cycle of a product. It can represent a physical or real stage that 
you need for example the deployment is a uh, in a stage maybe a collection of server the cloud or multiple cloud in fact you can even use a stage to represent shipping the software to an app store or the manufacturing process of a boss product or where to group a cohort of user for a specific version of an application. There are three types of, of triggers. When you have a clear view of your different stages, you need to think about when you want to deploy to these stages. There is a difference between a release and deployment and we discussed early. The moment you create the release, the package that holds the version of set of artifacts can differ from, a, from the moment you deploy to an environment. But both the release and the stages make us of, a, of triggers. There are three types of trigger recognized. Continuous de deployment and triggers. You can set up these triggers on your release pipeline. Once you do that, every time a build complete, your release pipeline triggers and new release will be created. Schedule trigger. This piece is how what is allowed is set up a high base manner start a new release. For example, every night 3 a.m or at 12 p.m. You can have a one multiple schedule per day, but will always run on this specific time. Manual trigger, uh, which manual, manual trigger a person of system trigger will release based on specific time. Specific event. When it is person, it is a person if already use some UI to start a new release. When it is an automated process, most likely some event will occur and by using an automation engine, which is usually part of the release management tools, you can trigger the release from another system. Release gate. Get a lot of automatic collection of health signal from external services and then promote the release. When we all signal are successful at the same time or stop the deployment at time on time out. Typically gate are used in connection with in season management, proper problem management, chain management, monitoring and external approval. More of the how parameter varies over time. Regularly changes the status from how to unhealthy and back to a healthy to account such variation all the case are priority early re evaluated until all of them are successful at the same time the release execution and deployment does not proceed if all gates do not succeed in the same interval and before configure time S some signals are used case for the guide are incident and issue management, seat approval outside issue pipeline, quality, validation, security scan on artifact use experience relative to baseline, change management and infrastructure health. Thank you.